morning all of you myself a this i am presenting introduction to plc uh, first of all we discuss the content Dep first definition of plc second basic components of plc plc advantage plc disadvantage plc input output module plc input output instructions involves constructing plc ladder ramps latching circuits so in the introductory session we describe a plc then we discuss regarding the different advantage disadvantage of plc or other control systems so originally the plc has represented acronymous as a pc that is personal computer and it represents the plc that is program logical controller so plc is a user friendly microprocessor based specialized computer that carries out the control functions of many types and level of complexity so its purpose is to monitor crucial process parameters and adjust process operation accordingly so it can be reprogrammed and controlled to all the systems with skilled person essentially the plc operator draws a ladder the lines and devices of ladder ramps with a keyboard on to a display screen so this the this is the takes place in a computer externally we wiring required for the control of the process and the plc will operate any system the output devices that goes on and off so it can in a discrete or digital outputs so in analog output that operate the systems the plc can be operated and off on and off basis so this is the regarding the plc so next point is we discuss regarding the basic components of plc the figure shows the four, three major components of plc system the they are interconnected first is the central processing unit the brain of the system which has three sub parts microprocessor that is the computer center that carries out mathematic and logic operations second b memory the area of cpu in which the data and information is stored and retrieved the next point is for power supply in a cpu the electric supply that converts ac voltage to various operation dc values in this process the power supply filters and regulates the dc voltage to ensure the proper computer operations next point is programmer or monitor so this programmer or monitor can say programming devices so is used to used to communicate with circuits of plc handheld terminals industrial terminals and personal terminals exist as pm devices that is programmer and monitor devices so in in hand held unit input takes place through the membrane keypad and the display is usually on lcd the next point is input module and output modules so in input modules the terminal has to outside the process electrical signals generated by sensor or in transducers then output module is sent to activate the relay solenoid valves then different devices like motor and displays or you can say solid state switching devices so these are the main component of the plc which which carries the whole operations on the systems now we move for the next slide that is plc advantage and disadvantage so first of all we discuss the plc advantages the first point is flexibility in the past year the whole control of production machines required its own controller suppose we consider 50 machines it requires 50 different controllers now it is possible to use just one model of plc to run 50 machines then next that's why it is go for flexibility the next point is implementing changes and correcting errors with a wire relay type panel any program alteration requires more time so in previous years previous years the relay type panels are used and their alteration of programs requires more time so now we have to change by plc only the some program or can say commands by keyboards and it requires minimum time so here not required uh, no rewiring 
for PLC systems. The next point is last large quantities of contacts. The PLC has number of contacts for each coil available in its programming. So it is sufficient for computer memories and it is advantageable for all the systems. Then lower cost. Increased technology make it condense more functions into the smaller and less less expensive packages. The next is pilot running. In conventional relay systems has been all the system tested in a factory or factory floor which can consume more time. But in case of PLC circuits, it is evaluated in the office or labs. Next point is the visual observation. That is the main advantage of this. We can observe all the systems in a CRT or can say LCD directly. It is not work on floor basis. The next important advantage is speed of operations. So relays can be take unacceptable amount of time, but in PLC it, it requires very less time and we can say it can very fast to the previous systems or other control systems. The next we go for programming method that is main advantage of this PLC is we can implement the program by ladder or boolean algebraic conditions. So this is main advantage to anyone can access the ladder programming or boolean programming. The next is reliability and maneuverability. So we have used here solid state switches so that's why it has more reliable and it has low cost or can say less maintenance cost. Now next advantage or next advantage of PLC is easy of changes by reprogramming. Whenever whenever the problem will be there, we can directly set or can say reset the buttons and at that point we can change the command in the program and directly we can execute the some functions or some works with the help of PLC. So this is the main advantages of PLC. Now we move for next point that is disadvantages of PLC. So main disadvantage is the newer technology. It requires some skill to person whenever it can operate the systems. Then second disadvantage of environmental considerations. So in manufacturing industries, there are number of uh, constraints there for vibrations as well as heat conditions. So it is as same some limit for this PLC systems. Then next major disadvantage of the fail safe operations. Whenever the power goes off, all the systems will be closed off. So it does not get automatically on from the reset conditions. So it requires nowadays what will happen here the main focus goes on the fail safe operations. So now we are applying the adding some safety relays to the PLC and then we are improve the PLC operations by adding the safety relays. The next point is the PLC manufacturers. So mainly manufacturers Ellen Bradley, ABB, Siemens, Mitsubishi PLC, Hitachi PLC, Delta PLC and General Electric PLC. So these are the manufacturer of the PLCs. And now we move for the PLC input output models. So we'll discuss first PLC input models. So input models is comes the input from externally through analog form. So it is maybe from sensors, switches, and encoders. So these are the main input models given to the system. The next is the PLC output module. So whenever the input models and program executing some functions and it is giving the output to the externally one by the system so this is the output called as an output module so it is in the form of coil relay lamp siren walls actuators so these are the output modules now we're discussing regarding the plc input instruction symbols so first of all we discuss the normally open symbol so when it activates we when it activates the output will be on or you can say the value of digital value is 1 output will be on 
if digital value zero then output will be off then next we move for normally closed this symbol so this is the input instruction so this symbol when it activates output will be off or you can say in digital format if value is zero if you put the value of zero output will be on and if it put the value will be one then output will be off so this is the condition regarding the plc input then next we move for plc output instructions the plc output instruction is the first one is output energized when input is on then and only output will be energized so this is a basic symbol the next output latch when latch is on so when latch is energized then this l latch will be on so when the next is the output on latch when the latch is de-energized then output will be on latch so this is the basic input output instruction symbols then next we can with how to construct the plc ladder ramps so first of all we we focus on ladder ladder means you know that two vertical lines and number of horizontal rows so in plc ladder ramps we can say these are the two two vertical lines is called as power rail power rails and horizontal lines is called as runs so in a power rails the current is flows from left to right so that's why the input modules is on left hand side and output is on right hand side so each output can be used only once in a program a particular input and output can appear in more than one rung of ladder the next point is the contact cannot be placed on right of the output the input and outputs are all identify their addresses with different addresses also including the number of timer and output timer and counter functions so which is on right hand sides so this is the basic features of ladder diagram then we move forward one example of plc ladder so these two vertical lines these two vertical lines are called as <coughs> vertical lines is called as power rails and one horizontal line is called as trunks so on left hand side the input one is input one is on the output one will be energized so this is the basic symbol for normally open contact so normally open contact what it can suggest the when input value in digital format is one then and only output will be on or can say latch will be on so normally open when it starts when it activates then and only output will be energized if it is input one is off there it should not be output will be output will be off so this is the first case the next case we discuss here so that is the next case so there are three switches a b c which is connected in a parallel manner so switch a is on the lamp is on right if switch b is on lamp is on if switch c is on lamp is on if it is switch d is if switch d is on the lamp will be off so these three these three are normally open contacts and this one is normally close contact so this normally close contact is called as master control switch when you clicking on it or you can say energize it then output will be off if you can operate switch a b c so this is the condition regarding the master's control switch so this is the normally closed circuits when the value will be zero the lamp will be on if the value will be one the lamp will be off right the next case if it is value will be one the lamp will be off so this is the plc ladder diagram then next we move for and circuits so and circuit is like that 
this two inputs that is two input that is input 3 and input 4 input 3 and input 4 are two normally op open symbols are in series and the output will be on right hand sides when this two input is on then only output will be on so this is the and circuits now we move for all circuits so here input 1 and input 2 so input 1 is on then only internal relay will on or you can say output will be on if input 2 is on then only output will be on. so here these two inputs anyone is on output will be on so this is called as all circuits then next we move for solve the ladder so solve the ladder means we have to implementing or can say scanning of the ladder so how to read this in different ways so actually we know that the current will flows from left to right left to right so current will be flow from left to right so that is nothing but so cr7 is off and cr6 is on then only output will be on or other either we can say that cr7 is off cr2 is on cr5 is on then and then only output will be on. so either we can say that cr1 cr4 cr3 is on output will be on the next is either we can say that cr1 cr4 and cr5 is on then output will be on so here remember that we are going from left to right only so then and only the scanning will be takes place so this is the reading of or can get, we can say scanning of the ladder then next we move for latching circuits so when latching circuit is in consideration with there so there will be one normally open and normally closed another is output is present in the circuits so when input 1 is on so it, in figure second we mentioning that input 1 is on and input 2 is off then and then only output 1 will be energized but we can say input 1 is momentary switch then we are giving the reference output 1 at the parallel then and then only what possible that the current will flows from this way that is output 1 to output 1 that normally open switch to our output 1 will be energized so this is the latching circuits so where it we can use here when your applications is the continuous flowing i can say continuous flowing is there current is required then and only you can so far use for latching circuits when continuous supply is required like in case of motors walls different solenoid walls then and only latching circuit is used so this is about the introductory stage of plc so in next lecture we will discuss the different programs of plc and different circuits of plc thank you